We are back in the Publix kitchen with Chef Ansley. Welcome back to the show. Hello. And today, I like this meal a lot because it's kind of refreshing at the same time. It's got a summer vibe to it. Yeah. And the other part, it's kind of easy to assemble and make. Absolutely. So it's shrimp bruschetta. Yes, with a lemon kale pesto. So the lemon kale pesto might be a little bit more, but if you want to just go with a regular pesto, that's fine because the lemon kale pesto has that additional step of you get the kale whole, you take the rib out, you blanch it, you chill it, you know, a little ice bath so it stops cooking, and then you put it into the pesto. So it is a little bit of extra step on that one, but I mean, if you just want to go with a regular basil pesto, or if there's a really nice, like, fresh basil pesto, you know, you can just add it to it. Um, it gives that nice body to your pesto. So I have it right here. So versus your normal pesto. It's got it's got a lot of body to it because of that kale. It's nice and um and that nice kind of makes it a little big. bit heartier of a meal even Absolutely. though these are more like a snack or like a kind of like a tapas type of thing. Absolutely. Tapas is exactly what I put it as because it's going to go on a piece of bread that I've toasted on our grill back here. Um I also did our shrimp on the grill as well. You can see a little bit of the char marks. I didn't want to overcook it. Shrimp is very temperamental. Um so we have our bruschetta here. Um, it is some nice roasted red peppers, some parsley, some tomato with the seeds removed. You remove the seeds because it gets really watery and then we'll put some nice shrimp on top of here. Um, also I put some, uh, let's see, do we want to load you up with shrimp? Let's load sure. you up with shrimp. It's lunchtime, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And they'll put a little bit of that pesto on top. It also has some uh, red wine vinegar in there. So it has a little bit of acidity. And Look one of the things nice I want to talk green. about too, the classes now that you're offering up. So yes. this is kind of the theme of what you're doing, right? Yes, this is from our class. It's going to be on Wednesday. It's our um, VIP wine experience uh, centralized in Monterey County. So all of the wines that we're going to be pouring that night are from Monterey. Um, it is a different style than our normal classes and it's actually the last one we're going to be doing. Um, so it's going to be tapas, small bites with small wine tasting. So it's more of like a wine tasting versus a wine dinner. I like that a lot. And then the other thing that's great too, think about what's coming up in the summer. If you're having, you know, cookouts or entertaining, just to have a spread of all different types of, you know, kind of smaller meals that people can right. kind of graze on, pair them up with a drink. You'll teach how to do that as well. Yes. One yes. thing is that I like about this, how you have pistachios inside here. Yes. It just gives it that rich, fully like flavor to it. Absolutely. Versus the pine nuts, we use the lightly salted ones so we could control the salt content. Well, this is delicious. Now, if you want to check out this menu, uh, just go to newsrejects.com slash recipes and it'll be on there step by step. But also the classes, publix.com. You can go there. You can find out the different dates and what's being featured right now. It's tapas. Well, thank you for all your time and information. I'm going to have another bite. This is the all perfect right. time for me because it is my lunchtime. Stick around. <laughs> More to come right after this.